hi guys welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how we can create a racing bar chart using tableau so it's very simple and easy uh, just you need to follow some steps and then you will be very expert on top of this thing so for this video i will create another data set the link of this data set you can found uh, below the video description uh, i will give you the link over there you can download the total uh, complete set of data and then after that you can start this tutorial after watching this thing so let's go to the uh, main tutorial but before going to the main tutorial i will request you if you are new to our channel uh, please subscribe to our channel and if you still didn't subscribe please subscribe to our channel now let's get started in this video we will use this data set this file name is covid19 cases.csv and it has lots of column and lots of data so right now we are seeing case type peop, uh, people then cases many columns and if you go down then we'll see there is like say, almost like 80 thousands of data okay so we'll use this thing and this file is uh, called covid19 cases.csv i will give you the download link of this file uh, in the video description but this file is actually downloaded from uh, tableau website so now let's open tableau and load the data so after opening tableau we have to choose text file as this is a csv file so i'm going to desktop and this is the file i'm going to link uh, just click open and then within few seconds it will give you this option it is giving either update now or automatically update because there is a huge set of data that's why it is offering these two options but i prefer the update now option for this time now just click on update now and it will update the data set partially here you will see only 1000 uh, rows are updated but if you want to load more you can actually change this thing like if you want to load like 2000 you can do this this way 21000 uh, it will update like this way uh, just uh, make 2000 so that it will be updated faster and it will show you uh, the 2000 rows of record okay so uh, in this way you can load the data and i told you this has like almost 80000 data so we are not interested to load the data we want to draw uh, the racing bar chart graph okay now uh, let's create a worksheet by clicking there and this is our new worksheet now what we have to do we have to uh, choose some of the uh, dimension and some of the measures we want to create a racing bar chart based on the cases there are many other things also you can also do but in this example we will use cases and then the, then the country wise okay so at first uh, drag and drop it on top of the column so it will be the column wise all the data will be like this way and this side is the show me this option panel i can click here it will be disabled okay now here we can actually based on this uh, graph or chart we can actually use country so i can uh, drag and put it on top of the color and it will be uh, color coded okay and also here we are seeing there are many countries are there okay so we don't need uh, that much country so we can filter uh, like top 20 we can easily do so for that case we need to filter uh, this thing based on the country so we can actually drag this country again in top of the filter i mean filter area and from here there are a couple of tabs we can go top and from top we can choose like top 20 for example uh, by field and then uh, like here we can put the value like 20 or 7 or 10 whatever you wish so i just put 20 and click ok after doing this thing we will see only 20 countries data will be loaded here and rest of them will be ignored and in the right side there is color coded thing uh, to further details for this racing chart we need a calculated field we can easily create a calculated field from uh, this major option so right click and then choose uh, create calculated field let's uh, name it like ranking okay or rank something whatever you wish rank in short okay and we need to uh, create an expression so we can create an expression uh, we have a function it is called rank unique so we can use this thing rank unique and then inside it we can actually uh, we are trying to uh, create this racing graph based on the cases so we can do one thing we can sum we can use sum and then inside it we can use the cases uh, this is the measure okay and then uh, this thing is okay and it is showing the calculation is valid okay that means we can use this expression and now hit okay button so we have the rank measure now drag this rank on top of the rows and it will be on the row side and then it will try to draw the graph okay like uh, on the 
based on uh, this sum and rank based on this but it is very difficult to understand right so what we can do we can change this rank uh, there are a couple of tricks and tips we can do so what we can do we can click here and then it will pop up this menu and from there we can choose compute using then country region then it will show country wise result okay and each color coded means each different country we choose 20 countries that's why it is showing 20 countries over there okay then another thing we can do we can again click here and then from here we can use discrete now it will be like this type of chart so uh, this way actually we can draw uh, based on some cases some of cases and then rank and we actually use two of the special functionality of rank and after that we make this type of graph but we can make this graph more natural and meaningful so we can put the country name over there like right now there is nothing it's very difficult to understand though there is some panel but it will be nice if we put some country level over there so what i am trying to do uh, i'm dragging this country again on top of the level and the level will be there like usa and it is showing all the country name right now it is showing all the confirmed cases uh, of country wise uh, now we can do one thing we can make this thing like is day wise right so right now it is showing all day all together like all dates together so what i can do we can actually click this date i mean you can drag this date and we can put on top the pages and it will be like this way so here it is showing by default the year it is showing year but we can change it to day wise so if we click here it will pop up this top menu and from here i'm choosing day and it will show like this way now let's change the sheet name here we are seeing the sheet uh, we can double click and it will give up this option we can actually rename it like racing bar chart racing bar chart okay i just put a title but if you wish you can actually do something else also and click ok and it will change the uh, name of this bar chart and what we can do last thing uh, we can do one thing we can change the view from standard to interview and it will be a good shape good looking chart okay right now actually i put 20 but you can put 7 or 10 whatever you wish you can actually filter this thing let's make it uh, 10 it will be more nicer to check okay so what i'm trying to do i'm double clicking over there and instead of 20 i'm choosing uh, 10 for example okay and then click on apply and then click, okay then it will be expanded more nicely okay now let's run this thing and check whether it is working properly or not so i'm going to hit the play button this is the play button and stop button and this are the speed controller so i'm going to hit uh, play button right now it is in medium speed and you will see that the bar chart is moving okay so in this way basically using tableau we can easily create a bar chart uh, that means racing bar chart very easily hopefully by watching this video you will be able to do this thing after watching for the first time uh, if you are unable to do this thing uh, please watch again uh, and try to get the idea and then do uh, then definitely you will be able to do, do this thing it's very easy it's not difficult it's very simple also okay so that's all guys uh, thank you for watching if this video is useful for you uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching see you on the next video